Hello. Hello. Hi, hi. It's the end of the day. It's um about 6.20 p.m. I say the end of the day, the end of my working day. Um, and I promised I was going to jump on again uh, to share some day's reflections. I don't know. Um, interestingly enough, what I'm about to chat about came up yesterday. And I promised I was going to vlog about it, so... Um, it's probably the good, the best time of the day to do it, when I'm probably a bit more chilled and cool. If this is the first time you've joined me, my name is Sylvia Smith of Incline Training Consultants Limited. I run my own consultancy, which I'm developing. I also have a couple of Facebook pages that I post things I think may be of interest to. One is um, Money Matters with Sylvia Smith and the other is The Learning Curve. Um, I also have a YouTube channel which is obviously what I'm posting on now and trying to make some headway in terms of business um, and in terms of a presence in this very noisy online world. Aside from that, however, I think I will also use this platform for sharing things that happen to us as black folk, black people. Um, and I think are worthy of sharing because I do think that over time when I get more subscribers, and by the way, if you do want to subscribe, please do um, click the red notification bell below this uh, this post, um, and you'll be notified every time I post something. So when I get more subscribers, um, which I will imagine will be from a range of ethnic backgrounds, because that's the kind of person I am, um, I actually want white folks to understand some of why we as black folk get irritated um, when certain things are said. Okay, so let me let me let me share this with you. My son, uh, who has um, entered the kind of freelance world by default, really. Um, He's actually working for some folk at the moment. I mean, I won't mention their names. Um, but this is a company that's predominantly occupied by um, sort of middle-aged white men. Um, and he has clearly uh, been brought on board for, because of his skills in terms of social media and, um, you know, managing... Um, content which is of a marketing nature um, for people who who are really wanting to sort of step out there and um, have a presence on social media Facebook Twitter you know the like the, the, the works anyway he shared with me that he went in to the office uh, a couple of days ago um, at, for a meeting with um, a couple of the guys who who he is kind of doing this work for in the company. And one of the guys, a middle-aged white guy, made a remark about, you know, are you in a gang? Are you a terrorist? So as you can imagine, my son was not in the slightest bit impressed. And upon hearing this, neither was I. What kind of a comment is that to make in this current climate? If you're watching this sometime in the future, the climate I'm referring to is 
you know, almost a daily diet of killings that are going on on our streets in London. Um, in the main, they tend to be black on black killings, either via the use of a knife or, you know, even more horrifyingly, the use of guns. This is the very week that a young woman was shot and killed. This is the very week that, you know, almost every other day we hear of a young black male being knifed um, by another youngster. How, how non-thinking and insensitive can you be in terms of making those sorts of comments? Now, you know, my son, his retort was, because I think this guy, he, he, he occupies the, the um, basement office. So, you know, my son had to kind of retort in a kind of a tongue in cheek fashion saying, you know, you better stay in the, um, you better stay in the basement. People can't take what you're saying on, on, the, um, on the other floors. But, you know, why would you say something like that? Why would you say something like that? Um, and, you know, I suppose for my son, who, who, stress, who is struggling to make an inroad in, in some of these companies, it kind of makes him feel to some extent that I wonder if this is really the way that lots of companies that are predominantly um, run and occupied by white men. I wonder if this is the predominant way that they feel and think. Now, you know, whether that's true or not is not the point. The point is that it is something or an idea that you, being a young black man, will flirt with. Um, particularly if you're trying to make make your way in life. So I just really... Um, um, it never ceases to amaze me that these kind of incidences can can continue to occur in 2018, the 21st century. Um, and some of the some of the experiences that my generation had um, continue to pervade, and it's ridiculous. It has to stop. You know, rather than think about how we solve some of these problems, um, there are sections of society that, unless they are actually touched by situations like this, which, you know, I'm not for one minute wishing this on anyone, but unless they're actually touched by these situations, they seem to fail to understand um, the feeling, the impact, the fear, the disappointment, and everything else that goes with what is going on on our streets. Um, and it's not good enough. You have to make an effort to understand what's going on. You have to be part of the solution because believe you me, the situation we have at the moment can impact all of us. So that was just a thought. Um, as I say, I'm irritated and disappointed, but I do, do hope that those who, 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 who watch this and who see this um, can have some kind of thinking brain to realize that you have to know what you're saying, you have to put your mind into gear before the diarrhea comes out of your gob. Because, you know, these are very, very challenging and difficult times, and these kinds of comments do not really help. Are you in a gang? Are you a terrorist? Come on, give me a break. Anyway, I'm off, I'm back, I'm off home. Um, I just thought I'd stop and, and share some of those thoughts with you. Um, please do like and share or share 
If you have any comments on what I've just said, make sure you pop them in the comment box below. Um, I'm going to post this on Facebook as well, because uh, I, I do want to start a conversation about this. I mean, you know, you know we've, got, we've got to do better. And um, as I say, it impacts all of us. Take good care. Whenever you watch this, have yourself a pleasant day. Have yourself a pleasant evening. Peace.